Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's webinar, Exploring the Cayman Islands, Three Unexpected Destinations. This webinar will be presented by Tammy Van Zyl, Marketing Representative for the Cayman Islands Department of Tourism, as well as Dan Haas, Director of Marketing for the local hotel, and Paula, Paula Juarez Robinson, Luxury Retail Travel and Sales Manager for the Seafire Resort and Spa. And of course, I'm Dan McDonald, Sales and Marketing Associate with Baxter Media. Be sure to attend the full duration of the webinar for your chance to win a $250 MasterCard gift card. Attendees will also be entered into a draw to win a complimentary two-night midweek stay, which is Sunday to Thursday, at the Locale Hotel, Grand Cayman. Guests will also receive a FAM rate for any additional nights, which is a guaranteed 10% off the lowest published offer. Just before we get into things, I'd like to let our viewers know that at the end of this webinar, you'll have the chance to ask questions. To do so, just type them into the Q&A section of the public chat box, which should be towards the right-hand side of your page, and those questions will be answered in due time. And remember, this is a live session, so your patience is appreciated during any technical difficulties that might arise. Presenting for us first today is Tammy Fansil, Marketing Representative for the Cayman Islands Department of Tourism. Hi, Tammy. How are you today? Hey, Dan. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. I'm doing good as well, thanks. And you can get started uh, whenever you're ready. Fantastic. So good after good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this Cayman Islands webinar. Thank you for joining us and thank you to Baxter Media for hosting us. So to recap on the housekeeping notes, this presentation is broken down into six sections. When I get to the accommodation section, I'll pass the baton to our hotel partners and they will share their respective properties. Now to qualify to win either the gift card or the complimentary two night midweek stay at locale, you must be turned in for the entire webinar and the question period. Engagement is appreciated. Send your questions to Dan. He'll ask us once we're through and maybe just specify who the questions are for since you'll have three presenters. And today or tomorrow, Dan will send you a thank you email with the recording. There will also be some added resources and contact information for our hotel partners. Let's meet the team. So here in the center, we have uh, Raymond Mathias. He's our business development manager. He's, uh, he's based in Toronto. And we have Julia Koram Chahi, and she's a digital marketing specialist, and she's also based in Toronto, and myself, Tammy, marketing promotions, and I'm based in Alberta. Together, we are your Cayman Islands team for Canada. So my goal today is to share a destination that I feel passionate about and am invested in. I'm invested in because Cayman was my home for a very long time. I've been working in Cayman tourism for more than 20 years, 10 years with the National Airline, and about 15 with the Department of Tourism. I don't ever claim to know it all, but I would hope by now I should know a fair bit. I also wish to debunk some misconceptions about the Cayman Islands and provide you with solutions based options for your clients that are maybe experiencing the all inclusive fatigue or just looking for a different vacation experience. So let's introduce our hotel partners in alphabetical order of hotel. Please meet Paula Juarez Robinson of the Kimpton Seafire and Dan Haas of Locale. They will present later on uh, in this presentation. Let's uh, move right into uh, COVID. Um, I don't wanna say get it out of the way, but um, it's on everybody's mind and we have to uh, address this. So the Cayman Islands government views this as what it is, it's a public health crisis. And we always feel that health must always come first. The economic response is important, but without healthy citizens and visitors, it's pretty much irrelevant. We have always and will always prioritize the health and safety of our residents and visitors. So we took steps to close the borders early and we're now in a phased border opening as of October 1. We continually monitor the rate of infection in other countries uh, that have reopened, especially uh, we particular, particularly pay attention to the United States where the pandemic is pretty still widespread. As you all know, this is the fluid situation and things can change at any time. So while we appreciate that other destinations will need to open quickly, we will err on the side of caution to continually protect both residents and visitors. So as I mentioned, test period from October 1, uh, at the moment we're allowing repatriation flights operated by Cayman Airways and British Airways only. And these flights are for Caymanians, residents, work permit holders and property owners. They're in, right now we're not open for commercial flights. So. Any updates that come up will be, um, you can access through this link at the bottom of the slide. This is what traveling to the Cayman Islands uh, looks like as of October. So once you receive travel approval time from travel time, and those are Caymanians, permanent residents, work permit holders, property owners, and approved visitors, 
You will then receive a COVID test upon arrival at the airport. You will then quarantine in a government facility or an approved residential quarantine space. You isolate for 14 days. On the 15th day, you're tested. On the 16th day with a negative result, you're allowed to discontinue quarantine and leave the facility. So in the meantime, we say visit the virtual tours, attend webinars and training sessions, visit our social media sites, Cayman Islands Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube streaming sessions. You can co-host your own Cayman Islands webinars and information sessions for your clients, and I'm happy to help you with this. Please reach out. You can offer up inspirational Cayman itineraries, or you can cook and share destination-inspired dishes, and I've got plenty of recipes for you, so I'm happy to share. The Global Citizen Concierge Program is a new program launched by the Cayman Islands Ministry and Department of Tourism, which allows persons who are employed outside of the Cayman Islands with the financial independence to live and work remotely in the Cayman Islands for up to two years. So this is a pretty unique opportunity. There are household and individual criteria to be met. There is an application processing fee and all the information can be found on our website. So please visit the website for these details if you're interested in this program. So moving on, um, why are you going to sell the Cayman Islands? And I'm gonna give you some good reasons to sell the Cayman Islands. We are the highest standard of living in the Caribbean. This is gonna be really important in a post COVID environment. You've got a three island experience. Every island is different. They all offer something different. Culinary capital of the Caribbean, friendly, high quality customer service, high repeat Canadian visitation, earn commission on condos and water sports. So you have to make sure you're pre-booking excursions before your clients leave Canada. Most hotels are within 15 minutes from the airport. What are consumers are saying about the Cayman Islands? TripAdvisor's Traveler's Choice Beach Awards. So best beach in the Caribbean, number three, best beach in the world, rated number six. Condé Nast Reader's Choice Awards 2019. They rated us number two for best beach in the world. And the Kempton Resort here, they got top resort in the Caribbean as number three. 10 of our restaurants in Grand Cayman have been awarded the Wine Spectator Award of Excellence as of 2018. And this is pretty impressive. So thanks for that. So getting to the Cayman Islands, um, where are the Cayman Islands? Cayman Islands are situated in the Western Caribbean, three tiny islands south of Cuba and northwest of Jamaica, four hour direct flight from Toronto. Now we're surrounded by a very deep body of water called the Cayman Trench. This water is deep and unpredictable and the only way between the islands is to fly. Although we're not out of the hurricane belt, we have only been impacted by three category five storms in the last 100 years. So we get lots of small storms, but the major storms of category five, three in the last 100 years. So pretty well protected. All roads across Canada lead to the Cayman Islands, easy same day connections for most major gateways within Canada on Air Canada and WestJet. Um, direct service originates in Toronto. You can also get to the Cayman Islands via many US carriers through gateways like Atlanta, Boston, New York, Houston. So there's plenty of, plenty of ways to get to the Cayman Islands. As of March uh, 2020, Air Canada provided the around service with up to five flights in the winter and two in the summer. WestJet provided two in the winter and one in the summer months. And obviously we'll have to see what that looks like post COVID. We have a brand new airport. So post five year renovation and revitalization project, we now have this fantastic new facility. It was opened by Prince Charles in March of 2019. We can accommodate over 2 million passengers. We have a new check-in area, departure, food hall, a food court, arrival hall, more duty-free shopping options, lots of retail options. And keeping in mind, this will be the final experience your clients will have in the Cayman Islands. We expect to make it pleasurable and stress-free with this brand new facility. Cayman Airways is the national flying carrier of the Cayman Islands. They offer domestic and international flights. The domestic flights focus on Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. You can book your island hop before you leave Canada on caymanairways.com. The average cost is about 100 US per direction with plenty of frequency. They just fly back and forth all day long. Your client can take a day trip or overnight and stay in one of the well-appointed properties in the sister islands. Cayman Islands tourism product. Hey, the fun stuff. So nine things you might not expect if Cayman. And the first one is that we're not actually islands at all. 
We're part of an underwater mountain range called the Cayman Ridge that extends from Belize to Cuba. So three islands, three peaks. We are a British overseas territory. Driving is on the left-hand side of the road. You can walk the entire seven mile beach, but keep in mind it's actually only five and three quarter miles if you're counting your steps. There are over 200 restaurants in the Cayman Islands. Eating out is a daily activity. We are home of the mudslide. You can experience underwater fairy dust. And what I mean by that is that there's a secret lagoon in Grand Cayman. It's a handful of places in the world where one can experience the phenomenon of bioluminescence. Um, it's not a secret, I'll, I'll tell you exactly where it is. There's a dive site for every day of the year. So the Cayman Islands are widely recognized as the birthplace of recreational diving in the scuba, recreational diving in the Caribbean, so dive 365. We're home to some of the rarest species in the world. Have you heard of the blue iguana? And um, Little Cayman is one of the least developed islands left in the Caribbean. So we've got about 197 residents and maybe about 2,000 iguanas. I'm sure all of which have the right of way. It's kind of a Gilligan's Island-esque. So the allure of the Cayman Islands, um, the highlights. So world famous Seven Mile Beach, culinary capital of the Caribbean, 365 dive sites, clean, friendly, safe, English speaking with 140 nationalities, most accommodation within 15 to 20 minutes from the airport. We have a range of accommodation, room stock of over 7,000, three to five star hotels, resorts, condos, and villas. We also have a very impressive infrastructure. So North American standards for communication, transportation, water, sewage, electric, and world-class medical systems. And this brand new airport I just told you all about. So Grand Cayman is the largest of three islands, 197 square kilometers, about 60,000 residents. It's cosmopolitan, has an excellent variety of accommodation, plenty of attractions. You would expect to see Stingray City, Cayman Bay, Seven Mile Beach, and Crystal Caves. Cayman Brack is our adventurous little sister, 36 square kilometers, about 2,000 residents. It's great for outdoor adventures, so hiking, scuba diving, bird watching, cave exploring, and is a 20-minute flight on Cayman Airways Express from Grand Cayman. Little Cayman is our tranquil little sister, 26 square kilometers, 190 so residents. Uh, it's great for cycling, diving, wildlife. It's very tranquil, secluded, and relaxing. Is a 40 minute flight on Cayman Airways Express, and this would be a 14 seat twin otter. So that in itself is a very exciting experience. Some of the experiences you might expect to have in the Cayman Islands. So you've heard me say that we are the culinary capital of the Caribbean. Now, this is not a purchase title. This is an earned title, and it's with very good reason. Again, 200 restaurants, 140 nationalities. This is really important because these nationalities lend themselves to our international flavors, great diversity, quality selection. You can get everything from a quaint fish shack to a five-star restaurant, daily and weekly farmer's markets, sea and farm-to-table experiences, Sunday brunch is a very well executed Cayman tradition. Plenty of food tours and flavor tours to be had. For those um, seeking land-based adventures, things to do, we have a wide variety of activities. Let's start with Crystal Caves. This is a, a natural limestone formation. It has spectacular stalactite and stalagmite crystal structures and formations. It's pretty spectacular. Your adventurous client may want to hike the Mastic Trail. And um, this trail is pretty significant because it represents one of the last remaining examples of the Caribbean subtropical, semi-deciduous dry forests. We have a couple of golf courses on islands, so why not a round of golf or two, or maybe give rock climbing a try on the bluff in Cayman Brac. Anyone uh, seeking water-based adventures things to do? We also have a plenty, uh, pardon me, we have a, a wide variety of activities. So kayaking in Little Cayman, bioluminescence fairy dust tour in Grand Cayman, uh, we just spoke about, and these tours are based around the cycle of the moon, so keep that in mind. The world famous Stingray City, um, you can do kiteboarding, parasailing, sunset sailing, deep sea fishing, snuba, scuba, there really is no shortage of, of water activities. Preserving, sharing, and having our visitors experience Caymanian culture is a primary source of importance and uh, is also a source of pride. 
So your client might experience culture by visiting National Gallery to see the local artwork, maybe Botanic Park for the indigenous flora and fauna. Pedro St. James, there's a lot of history here, great story. Uh, this is the birthplace of democracy in the Cayman Islands. And all three of our islands have their own museum with historic artifacts reflective of their respective islands. All three islands offer something a little bit different. So don't paint them all with the same broad brush. They're very different. Ah, the beaches. So the beaches of the Cayman Islands are kind of like postcard picture perfect with powder, soft sand, crystal clear water. You can kind of uh, channel your inner beach bum or maybe you want to experience a range of water sports, wait for that dramatic sunset. The Cayman Islands have some of the most impressive, impressive beaches out there. So depending on the time of year your client visits the Cayman Islands, they are bound to overlap with an exciting event. So Cayman Cookout, a celebration of culinary that takes place in January. Bata Banu is our carnival that takes place in May or Pirates Week in November and the Cayman Islands Marathon that happens every December. A couple more of our events. So Taste of Cayman Wine, uh, Food and Wine Festival. This, um, this festival has been in existence for about 32 years. Uh, it's grown from humble beginnings. It's now a rich culinary experience that offers heritage through uh, things like heavy cake contests or mixology competitions. K-Fest is um, it's hosted by the National Cultural Foundation and showcases the cultural diversity and artistic talent that exists within the community. Flower Sea Swim, they, um, this is kind of our flagship sporting event. So each year we host more than a thousand registered swimmers. And uh, this race is the world's richest open water event with over $100,000 in cash and random prizes. It's a lot of fun. Cayman Cocktail Week, just as it says, um, it's a celebration, a week long celebration of all things cocktail-y and sip worthy, um, created by some of the uh, finest bartenders in the Cayman Islands. And then we have the International Scuba Diving Hall of Fame. So. This is an annual event that recognizes those from around the world who've contributed to the success and growth of recreational scuba diving um, in areas like dive travel, entertainment, art, equipment design and development, education, exploration and adventure. So lots of cool events that take place in the Cayman Islands. Kamana Bay, this is kind of a, a town within a town. It's a, it's a lively waterfront area where you can satisfy your foodie cravings. You can shop for all things local. You can explore the, um, the local harvest markets. You can climb the observation tower, or maybe you just want to hang out with the kids that are splashing in the fountains. You know, this happens just a short walk from Seven Mile Beach. So Kamana Bay exists consists of 650 uh, vibrant acres um, town, town center. They've won awards for their design of shopping areas, dining events, entertainment attractions, residential, commercial. Uh, we've got 50 plus shops and restaurants, farmers markets and artisan markets, and one of the flavor tours happens here. Some pretty good restaurants. So scuba diving is one of the things we do really, really well. Um, it's perfect for the novice diver or the diver looking for adventure. So we've got really, really warm water temperatures, amazing visibility and very little current. Uh, and this makes the Cayman Islands an attractive choice for a dive vacation or someone to, um, who's looking just to dive while west on vacation. Uh, back to little Cayman, our little sister. So you know that kind of remote wonderland you always see in films or read about in books. Well, it's actually here. It's about 10 miles long and about one mile wide. And there honestly may be more peace and quiet per square inch on Little Cayman than anywhere else. This is a fantastic little island, so tranquil and beautiful. Cayman Brack, our adventurous little sister. Um, it's named for its breathtaking bluff. Uh, Cayman Brack is kind of off the beaten track, but remains charming. It allows thrill seekers and nature lovers to get up close and personal with rare flora and fauna. The tiny towns here, they have names like West End, Watering Place, Cotton Tree Bay, Creek, Spot Bay. Um, it's kind of an ideal place to unwind after a day packed with adventure. Accommodation, okay. And speaking of, uh, about accommodation today, I will share with you the range of product offered and then I'm gonna pass off to our hotel partners for their shares. So starting off with our five, five star boutique hotels, we've got the likes of Caribbean Club with 37 rooms and Palm Heights with 52 rooms, boutique style. 
Uh, condos and villa offerings, we've got Cayman Villas with 85 plus properties and then luxury Cayman Villas. Uh, this is like a carefully curated collection of, of luxury properties. It's, it's a pretty unique offering here. We've got a, um, a variety of well-known mid-range brands for the price sensitive travelers in our three-star offerings, as well as some local brands. So we've got the Holiday Inn, Grand Cayman, and they, they are as one. We've got Locale, we're gonna hear from Locale today. Sunshine Suites and Wyndham Reef in East End. The four-star hotels, creating spaces and experiences that allow you to see the world differently. So for that beach feel, the Marriott Resort Grand Cayman or the Westin Grand Cayman Seven Mile Beach Resort and Spa. We've got our five-star, five-diamond hotels uh, with only seven five-star awarded hotels in the Caribbean. You can experience the Ritz-Carlton in Grand Cayman. And of course, this now brings us to our five diamond hospitality and our first hotel partner. Paola will now share uh, the Kimpton Seafire with you. So I will pass that over to you, Paola, for your presentation on, uh, on the Seafire. Thank you so much, Tammy. Good afternoon. I am sending sunny regards and the Kimpton love all the way from Seven Mile Beach, Grand Cayman. Tammy just did a lovely recap of the beautiful reasons why many visitors continue to fall in love with Grand Cayman and our three Cayman Islands, as a matter of fact. So thank you for joining us. And I would love to take you into a journey on Seven Mile Beach. So if Tammy can help me playing the first video for us, let's take a look at Seafire Resort and Spa. Absolutely. Here we go. so much Dan and I hope this gave this give you a little bit of a, a taste of the amazing beautiful luxury setting that we have on the ocean side of Seven Mile Beach Grand Cayman Seafire the newest resort a five diamond by the AAA and in a great location on Seven Mile Beach so we'd love to see you by the sea at Seafire as we see as we say here in Grand Cayman to share a little bit of the highlights that I think are important and have made a great difference since the resort opened just over four years ago is the fact that the resort was built 24 feet above sea level. This is providing our guest rooms, our studios, our suites with an amazing view. It's really stunning and you will see it personally when you come visit. No resort had been built in 10 years since the previous resort opened in Grand Cayman, and we did open doors November 2016. So if you were here with us this week, we will be celebrating together. As a matter of fact, Tammy was sharing of the great events that we host on a year base. We just came out of Cocktail Week, which Seafire actually hosted amazing cocktail crafted programs over the last couple of weeks. And this week's is Pirates Week. So there's a lot of fun happening here in Grand Cayman. Time to touch base a little bit on the summer times. We have been very privileged, very blessed here in Grand Cayman. So I wanted to share with you that our resort colleagues, our sea family, as we call them, have been able to continue to service, deliver service from the heart this summer because we have been actually able to resume our operations just for local residents since late June. And we have actually had a very nice programming supported by our ownership team all the way through our different management and staff levels to support our staff to be able to service 
the five diamond service that we provide on a daily basis continue to be this summer with our CFIRE staff. So we're sending you regards so that when the time is right and you, re you get to come to visit us, you'll get to see our team here on Seven Mile Beach. Once we did a little pause during the summer season though, we were able to do a little part to perfect paradise. So Dan, if you can help me play just a little sneak peek video, I'd love to take you on a journey to our bungalows, beach houses. Of course, here we go. Thank you so much, Dan. Very short sure sneak peek because we would love for you to experience this when you come to visit us, Toes in the Sands. Um, we'd love to share with you about these bungalows because they're very unique as part of the hotel room component. They are in our inventory for your guests to stay overnight. And these are luxurious suites, two bedrooms, all the way to the front of the resort. So you're basically toes in the sand, very, very few steps are close to the beach and to the pool access. And whilst we were also doing this little pause in the summertime, we're starting to develop the planning for what will be a nice corner for our youngest guests, the Splash Park. The Seafire Resort has been able to welcome families, honeymooners, um, families of all ages are enjoying the resort already, but we definitely have the opportunity in 2021 to welcome them to much more fun. And even the adults are going to have a great time. So this is just a sneak peek of the model. We would love for you to stay tuned because we will be in communication to share more details on how the Splash Park will be designed and completed in Q1 next year. So back to the fun, uh, this month, as, as a matter of fact, just following the great activity that we had in October, we have been able to host pool parties, wellness retreats, family get together, DJ by the pool. So it's quite nice to be able to continue to service as I was sharing earlier. And the residents are definitely blasting Instagram and our social media platforms with amazing images to showcase how a life Sea fire is this summer, but also the island. So hopefully you'll get to experience that um, if you jump into social media platforms right after this uh, opportunity online together today. And falling into festive, just kicking off the week, as we mentioned, it's Pirates Weekend at Sea fire We're gonna have a nice Friendsgiving weekend at the um, third week of the month. We're gonna host one other wellness weekend and we're gonna start kicking off the holiday season because that is a beautiful time of the year and we're gonna be able to celebrate it here locally at Sea Fire. And that's a little highlight of our resort. We would love to see you by the sea as we say in Grand Cayman. Thank you so much for attending today. I'll pass it on now to my colleague at Locale, Dan. Oh, thanks so much, Paola. I uh, appreciate the introduction and this opportunity to uh, speak to everybody today on behalf of the Locale Hotel Grand Cayman. Um, so I'm sure many of you uh, haven't heard of us before, and uh, we're, we're actually uh, the newest hotel on the island. Um, we're a relatively small property uh, with just 41 rooms, and we like to think our, of ourselves as a great destination for business or pleasure um, and, and really focusing on offering a, a great value to people coming to the Cayman Islands. And, uh, you know, in terms of what makes us a, a great option, certainly a few things I can speak to. Uh, we do have just 41 rooms on property now, uh, a nice mix uh, of family-friendly accommodations or, or great options for couples or business travelers. Um, but as a hotel, we do have quite a number of amenities to offer, an on-site uh, pool and, and beautiful pool area. Uh, we have a CrossFit outdoor training area for people that are looking to, to stay active and get a bit of a workout in. We do have an on-property restaurant and uh, craft cocktail bar as well, which is always a, a nice thing to have after a, a day of meetings or adventures. And um, 
we also have a number of uh, retail spaces on property which uh, open some great options for travelers as well. So we have a, a spa that's right on site as well, uh, gift shops, and uh, also uh, Red Sail Sports has a facility here with, uh, again, great shopping and, and the ability to book all sorts of amazing water sports and uh, outdoor adventures. So, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot to offer and a lot of what we have focused on is just trying to make the property a, a great uh, jumping off point for whatever may bring you to the Cayman Islands. So a few more things that um, I can speak to as well. Let me just go back a slide here. So in terms of our location, uh, as you can see, we're located on the west end of Grand Cayman, and uh, we're located right in the heart of the Seven Mile District. And uh, we're not right on the beach, but the beach is never, <laughs> never far away when you're in the Cayman Islands. And uh, certainly for our property, uh, we have beach access paths that take you directly to Seven Mile Beach, uh, literally outside of our door. So uh, the, the beach is never more than a five minute walk away. So even though you don't get quite the views, uh, you can still have all of those great beach experiences and uh, certainly save a few dollars in the process if that's what you're looking for. And, uh, you know, uh, the Cayman Islands, it's a great place to come on vacation, but a lot of people do come here for business. And, and that's certainly one area that we specialize. So our location, we're very close to the airport. We're very close to Georgetown, very close to Camina Bay and all those other major economic hubs on the island. So uh, we do have a lot of people that, that have been choosing locale uh, for that business travel as well. Now, in terms of the locale difference, uh, you know, as a new property, there's certainly a, a lot of things that we've tried to do a little bit differently or, or try to do uh, with uh, thinking about the future and, and thinking about how can we do things a little bit better. And a few examples I can give you is certainly we've, we've done a lot to make the hotel green. Um, you know, we have special window tinting, for example, which really helps keep the cold air in and, and the heat out when you're trying to uh, relaxing indoors. Um, but over and above, we're also using those systems to uh, recapture the energy and heat the hot water that's used at the property. Uh, all of our water supply in every single room, whether it's uh, coming out of the tap or coming out of the shower, goes through a comprehensive filtration process. So all tap water is, is great to drink. And um, we keep refrigerated uh, bottles in the rooms, so you can still have that refreshing cold glass of water, but there's no need to use or, or purchase this, uh, uh, bottled water. Uh, we've eliminated single-use plastics. We have a, a saltwater swimming pool, which reduces the, the use of chemicals. And um, we've also just recently, um, we, we have stayed open over the, the course of the year, uh, despite the challenges of COVID, uh, but we've been able to stay open for the local community over this time. And we've been keeping busy with property improvements as well. So our solar array uh, was activated literally last week. So we're proud to, to be doing a lot to reduce our environmental footprint. Um, other forward thinking uh, aspects to our, our units is uh, each of our rooms also has an Alexa digital assistant in it, which can be used to contact our front desk, uh, request housekeeping or whatever a, a guest may need to uh, have the perfect stay with us. In terms of our accommodations, as I mentioned, we have uh, 41 rooms and um, our most uh, uh, common category is our double queen room. So we have 20 of these units of, on site. Uh, every single room uh, at the property does have a, a kitchenette in it, which includes amenities like a, a fridge, microwave, coffee maker, everything that you might need. Um, but our double queen rooms are a great option uh, for up to four guests. And, uh, you know, we even though we're a hotel and we're focused on, on offering a great value, uh, we've certainly gone the extra mile in terms of the bedding that was selected 55 inch flat screen TVs, great high speed wireless internet. And we know these things are important again, whether it's, it's business or, or a family getaway or a couple looking for an escape. It's nice to have those touches. Um, our, our penthouse suites, 
we have 10 of these units and they're a little bit larger, close to 600 square feet. And uh, these can sleep up to four guests as well. We've got a beautiful king on the main level, uh, as well as a pull-out queen sofa. And then there's a loft available uh, just up a fl short flight of stairs with uh, a, a little bit more of a view and, and a nice place just to kick back and perhaps have that glass of wine at the end of the day. And uh, our family suites are uh, very similarly configured to our penthouse suites, but the main difference being that these units can accommodate up to six guests. So they really are a great option for, for a family looking for a, a great value in the Cayman Islands. Uh, and still have that king bed on the main level, a queen size pullout sofa, but in the loft, you'll find two twins beds instead, which is uh, great for the kids and just giving them a, a bit of a space to themselves. But uh, yeah, certainly there's, there's a lot to offer at the hotel. Uh, every single stay at the hotel does include a complimentary a la carte breakfast at our on-site bonfire urban kitchen. Again, we have that craft cocktail bar, the saltwater pool, fitness equipment, free Wi-Fi, uh, free parking, uh, really everything that you need to have a comfortable and relaxing stay with us. And uh, speaking of our restaurant, Bonfire Urban Kitchen, as I mentioned, it doesn't, uh, they do provide that complimentary a la carte breakfast every morning with uh, all sorts of great options to choose from. But uh, it's a, a bit of an Italian focus, so great pasta options, great pizzas. So uh, nice to have a, a convenient option right on site there. And uh, my colleagues today have said some pretty amazing things about Seven Mile Beach. And uh, hopefully, uh, if you haven't been there yet, you have a chance to experience it for yourself. But it really is as, as beautiful as the pictures. And uh, we're, we're lucky to just have it outside of our front door there. And um, yeah, the, the islands themselves, certainly, again, as my colleagues said, there's no shortage of attractions, great things to do, whether you're looking for adventure, relaxation, uh, culinary experiences. Uh, there's a lot to offer and, and so much of it is easily accessed from the locale hotel. So uh, I thank you for your time and, and for this opportunity to, uh, to share a little bit more about us. Thank you so much, Dan. So of course now we'll get to some uh, questions from the audience. Just one second here. Oh, hey, sorry. So Dan, did you want me just to wrap up with a couple slides here before we get to the questions? Of course, yes, uh, Tammy, please go ahead. Perfect. Um, so thank you, Paula and, and Dan, that was fantastic. Uh, thank you uh, both for sharing. And um, we'll just wrap up this session with these next few slides. I promise it won't take that long. Uh, let's talk about getting around the Cayman Islands. So for a local experience, you can take the bus. Uh, Island-wide service, no official bus stops, get on anywhere, get off anywhere. It's a, a great way to see lesser known parts of the island and you can identify these buses by their target-like decals with the district initials. Like I said, get on anywhere, get off anywhere, you tell the driver one stop, Monday to Saturday, limited services on Sunday. We do have taxi service, they're available throughout the islands, they're not metered. Fares are set by the government with the initial fares being based on one to three passengers. There is a minimum journey. I would recommend downloading the CI Go app. It will calculate your taxi fare before you get it in the taxi. And make sure you're confirming the fare um, and discuss additional charges for multiple drop-offs, extra passengers, extra bags, that sort of thing, right? We have great DMC services, uh, plenty of them, full range DMC services, airport transfers, meet and greets, sedan service, ground transfer and charter services, destination management for groups, land-based tours, water-based services, on-site dispatchers, accessible services. You can't go wrong with any one of these guys. We have a specialist program. So through Travel Agent University, you can complete the Cayman Islands Specialist Program. Small effort equals big rewards. You get automatic enrollment in the Cayman Rewards uh, Program. You'll receive an e-newsletter with product updates and exclusive offers. You'll receive invitations to apply for Cayman Islands Specialist FAMS. You get a welcome graduate gratitude package. This is new as of October 1st. Um, and hopefully all this will give you uh, the confidence with which to sell the Cayman Islands. This is what our reward structure looks like. As you'll see here, first place, you can win up to $500. All you have to do is log on to caymanrewards.com and log your bookings. Uh, it's as simple as that. There really is no hope. You can, you can win money. It's great. 
Okay, we announced Department of Tourism, what we can do for you. So presentation seminars, trainings, customized brochure packages, promotional items for yourselves and for your clients, fam trips, approved social media images, blog content, website content, connections with and introductions to on-island partners, and we're your primary source for accurate information. I realize there's tons of information out there, but if you guys are looking for accurate, please come to the Cayman Islands Department of Tourism. You can contact us in many ways. Visit our, our new website. This phone number uh, rings right here in my office. This is my email. We've got plenty of social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you're not already part of our database and would like to become part of our database, please visit this link, fill out the forms, and it will automatically add you. You can follow me on uh, my social media sites. So Cayman in Canada underscore TVZ or Tammy Funsale, Cayman Islands. Uh, that's my Facebook. Uh, this is all Cayman Islands content, nothing else. I do like friends, so um, please connect with me. And just circling back to why you want to sell the Cayman Islands, um, we've got the highest standard of living in the Caribbean, three island experience, culinary capital of the Caribbean, friendly, high quality customer service, high repeat Canadian visitation, earning commission on condos and water sports, and most hotels within 15 minutes from the airport. Once you get them there, they will keep coming back. And all of this is going to be very important in a post-COVID environment. That's what we have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'll just um, hand it back to you, Dan. Thank you so much, Tammy. And indeed, a few questions have been submitted. Uh, just one second here. Back to my uh, splash page here. Just one second. Okay. There we go. Okay, so uh, let's see. Michelle had asked uh, if the webinar was being recorded, and if so, a copy will be sent. Yes, definitely, Michelle. And that goes to anyone that happened to sign in late today as well. Um, absolutely. Um, I'll be sending that out to everyone tomorrow, hopefully by the morning or by lunchtime, but definitely by tomorrow we can send that to you. And um, Carol was wondering if you could uh, repeat the Instagram handle, Tammy, that you mentioned. Yeah, sure. It is Cayman in Canada underscore TVZ. And I, I can share that screen again if you'd like me to. Oh, that's amazing. And I, I can actually see that. I brought it back to yours and I can see that now. So, okay. Carol, you should see that right up on the screen right now for that Instagram handle. There we are. And Linda asks, um, is there a program in place in the Cayman Islands to protect the ocean ecosystem? Oh, absolutely. We have, um, there's, there's lots of programs with the um, Department of Environment that protects the marine parks and the, um, oh, I can't think, the water system. So, so yes, there, there are plenty of programs in place. That's fantastic. I can get her all that information if she wants to reach out and then we can, we can go through that a little bit later. That's fantastic, okay. And uh, Kenneth asked, is there a charge for the COVID test upon arrival? As far as I know, there is. I don't know what the exact cost is, but I have been told there is a cost. Maybe Dan or Paula, um, do you have any information on that one? Uh, I do not have the exact cost uh, available. Not handy right now. I'll try to source it right away. Okay. So we'll get that information for you. There is there is a charge, but we're not exactly sure what that charge is. We, uh, we will get that for you. Wonderful. Thank you, guys. And Maria asks, is there a ferry from Grand Cayman to Little Cayman? No, there is not. The uh, As I mentioned in the, the first couple of slides, the water between the islands is very deep and unpredictable. The only way between islands is to fly. Right. I thought so. Thank you. And this question was for Dan. Linda asked, um, does the locale offer long stay durations? Uh, yes, we, we are at the moment. And this may change as uh, you know travel resumes and, and more commercial flights are available. But we are currently offering monthly stays at the property. That is fantastic. That's great. Thank you, Dan. And Donna asked, um, are me hi, are meal plans offered at hotels or with a range of dining? Is it best to do a la carte at individual restaurants? 
Um, they, um, some are, so depending on which hotel you're staying at, so some will offer you continental breakfast like, like Dan's um, Hotel Locale, um, and some, of course, um, will not. So depending where you're staying and what you're looking for, um, you've got plenty of, of options as far as the a la carte and, um, and restaurants, like 200 plus restaurants on the island. I don't know if I answered that correctly or not, or she, if, if that's the information she was looking for. I think that's really helpful. Yeah, thank you. And Donna, if you have any follow-up questions, you can feel free to ask that as well. And John asked, just to be clear, even if you produce a negative COVID test, are you still required to quarantine? Well, yes. So so you're tested upon entry and the protocols are right now you receive the COVID test and then you quarantine and then for the 14 days, you're tested on the 15th day, negative result on the 16th day. Um, that is what the protocol is. And then I'm going to say, yes, you are required to, to quarantine and follow the protocol if you get approval to enter the Cayman Islands. Perfect. Thank you, Tammy. And uh, another question came through about, is it possible to get a copy of the presentation? Um, Maria, I can definitely send you, uh, send some follow-up information tomorrow along with the um, webinar recording that gets sent to everybody. Uh, I'll see what information I can get a hand of, uh, uh, get a handle on to um, attach to that email and send to you. So you can expect to receive that from me tomorrow. Uh, Karen had a question for Dan. So Karen asks, uh, Dan, who is your partner? Who is your partner property at Seven Mile Beach for the lounge charges? Yeah, I can definitely speak to that. And I imagine, Karen, you may have been referring to, to lounge chairs. Um, we did have a great arrangement with a local service provider called the Royal Palms Beach Club, where our guests were able to go to Seven Mile Beach and enjoy beachfront amenities and lounge chairs and, and things like that. Uh, sadly, the Beach Club has closed as a result of COVID, uh, but we're actively looking, and I'm sure as travel resumes, we'll have another great partner that we'll be working with in the future. That's amazing. Thank you, Dan. Jennifer asks, there was a really fun beach bar by the sea fire. I heard a rumor that it was closing. Did it close? I can speak to that. Thank you, Dan. Um, actually, the, um, the restaurant bar next to us did have a closure um, a few months ago. So it's very impressive that in previous years, the location of the island, um, location of the resort on the island on Seven Mile Beach has been premium. So we right now don't have any big neighbors next to us. Okay, thank you, Paula. Linda asks, is there a dine around plan on the island? Um, I don't know if there's an exact plan. There's plenty of food tours where you would go to one restaurant for a, um, you know, a cocktail, one for a main course, one for uh, an appetizer, one for a dessert. And then there's plenty of food tours. Um, and we can certainly get you information on those tours that exist um, as they are now. Excellent. Thank you, Tammy. We have some uh, very nice thank you messages here in the chat box. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Um, Lydia says, Tammy, great presentation as usual. Thank you, Paula and Dan for the great info on Kimpton and the locale. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lydia. And I think the last question submitted here was from Terry who asked, is there any timeline for the Cayman Islands welcoming visitors? Uh, I'm, I'm suspecting he's he's talking in regards to COVID. That's um, right. Right now, the only timeline we have uh, is that we're in a phased um, opening system. So as of October 1st, historical data will be collected, whatever we, whatever is amassed between the, the reopening, the phased opening as of October 1st uh, moving forward. So we don't have any firm dates um, that have been published or, or put out there. Um, so I'm going to say no, there, there's no firm information. Um, you know, we, we have to act accordingly and, um, based on, on what information we collect and then where the, um, where the pandemic goes, this is a fluid situation and things can change at any time. I wish I had the answer for you. I just, uh, we don't have that. Right, right. Of course. And, um, the very last question that was submitted here from Catherine is, um, she was asking for the names and contacts of the hotel reps, please. 
So um, I don't know if maybe I can include that in the email that gets sent to everybody tomorrow. Yeah, we have, um, share that with you for sure. Absolutely, yeah. So Catherine, I will send that to you uh, no later than tomorrow. And I do believe that's it for the questions here. Yeah, that's it. It looks like we've reached everybody. Fantastic. Well, from all of us here at Baxter Media, I'd like to thank everyone for attending. If you happen to miss part of today's webinar, as I mentioned, the recording will be made available tomorrow on the Baxter Media YouTube channel, and it will be sent to all attendees as well. Uh, and in terms of the prize draw, the winner will be contacted over the next few days. I would like to give a huge thank you to Tammy, Dan, and Paula for the excellent set of presentations. It was wonderful having you all here virtually today. Thank you all so much. All right. Thanks again, everybody. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Bye, everyone.